Developing news, new details emerge about the House of Horrors, where deputies found 13 starving children. Authorities described what they found after a teenager's heroic escape and her call for help. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is there live with new video of their parents' arrests and details on the conditions the children were kept in. Dave? Rick, uh, it's deplorable, it's unbelievable, and it, uh, it, it just makes you, you shudder and, and shake your head. And the same thing with the detectives. It happened in this house behind me. So many questions that were left unanswered. How in the world could adults, the children, some of the children were adults, in fact, some was 20, 29, 25, 26, 27, how could they live this way? Uh, were they brainwashed? Uh, did they have a job? Did they ever leave the place? How could neighbors here not know that there were 13 children here? What about the school age children? Nobody ever knew that they never went to school. The home school, the state just had a piece of paper saying, this was a school. On and on and on the questions go. No real answers. The parents will be in court on Thursday. They're now jailed. Nine million dollars bail each on a story that borders on the unbelievable. It's just after seven o'clock Sunday morning. This security video shows 57 year old David Allen Turpin and his 49 year old wife Louise being led away in handcuffs. A short time later, the same video shows small children being escorted into a van by deputy sheriffs. And today, no one can answer the question that everyone wants to know. Why would this couple starve, handcuff, and in the words of the sheriff department, torture their children, 13 of them, ages 2 to 29? I wish I could come to you today with information that would explain why this happened. But he can't. No one can. And when asked why he would say that some of the children were tortured, his response? Being chained to a bed, I would call that torture. Of the 13 children rescued from this home, six are under the age of 18. The adults, according to those who have seen them, don't look like adults. They're small, and it's very clear that they're um, malnutrition. Detectives say the conditions inside that home, deplorable, horrific, smelly. Three children were actually chained to a sofa. It seemed that the mother was perplexed as to why we were uh, at, at that residence. I can't believe it. I know somebody must have known it, but they didn't want to get involved. But deputy said they were never called to this home. No reason to. And neighbors said they never saw a bunch of children out in the front at once. But here they are, all gathered together a few years ago in Vegas when their parents renewed their vows. Elvis doing the honors. I never heard them. The Paris home is listed with the state as a private school. Turpin, the principal, it is non-religious, co-educational, and there are six students enrolled. But under California law, the state does not have the authority to monitor, inspect, or oversee private schools. So no one came to check. And detectives say, if not for that 17-year-old girl who looks 10, escaping from a window, and having pictures to prove what was going on, this house of whores would still be going on. They are safe right now. I think they feel safe. And of course, the other question, how long did this go on and why was that 17 year old who, again, looks like she's 10, we are told, how did she get out and why did she get out on Sunday? Now, the seven adult victims here are all together. They're at a place called Corona Medical Center. And the word on them is they are cooperative. They seem to be improving. Everyone is hospitalized. And as for the seven adults, they are believing and they're hopeful that their lives will get better from now. Reporting live, I'm Dave Lopez. Back to you in the studio.